Maxwell brings up his 50 with a six, as you'd expect. I first fell in love with cricket probably as soon as I could stand up, I suppose. As a kid, I had a, a really good technique. I, I was able to go up to the, the nets with my dad. Um, we had a, a video camera that my dad got for his 50th birthday and was able to videotape these net sessions. So I used to go back, watch the net session and, and sort of see how my technique was going. I still remember the beast, especially the one with the graphite back. I remember Mike Hussey and Brad Hodge hitting massive sixes with it. That's a wonderful strike. It's very big too. I used to love watching Mike Hussey bat at the end of a, of a one day or a T20 and uh, the way he was really crafty with his hands, he was able to hit sixes in different areas of the ground, reverse swept, he, he did it all and, and Hodgie being a Victorian, used to love the way he went about it. I think he got his uh, double hundred I think with the beast as well and I still had that post rock in my bedroom I think even when I was rookie contracted for Victoria. To have Kookaburra be there for most of my international career has been really special. It's been nice to share the journey. Maxwell oh. winds up for the first time. Oh, that's a big hit. Maxi oh, is that. That's gone all the way. She's looked in good touch from the moment he's walked out there. Also be able to work hand in hand with some of the finest cricket gear in the world and having idols like Punner and Hodgie and Mike Hussey, it's, it's nice to sort of follow in their footsteps with the, with the Kookaburra brand. So some of the things I look for in a cricket graphic, loud, out there, bright colours, offering a bit of discussion, hopefully people are talking about it off the field. Yeah, the new beast is, is pretty slick. Love the way the beast is coming out on the back, it looks, looks super cool, almost looks like it's coming straight out of the wood and also in my favourite shape, nice and big at the back, uh, low middle, um, hopefully perfect for hitting some big sixes. Goes for that, leg side, and that's another one. That's his fourth tonight. The reverse sweep for me has been a big shot for a long period of time. The reverse sweep gave me um, enough power and, and a way to move fields and uh, manipulate bowling. So I thought if I could have that in my arsenal um, as a batter, I could really cause havoc. Oh, reverse. reverse. Oh! That's a ridiculous shot of a man talking wow. confidence, talent, skill. And he's just hit a reverse sweep for 100 metres. Yeah, it was an amazing walking out at Metricon. I knew I had a pretty cool weapon in my hands and I was looking forward to uh, getting out there and using it. There was already a bit of chatter around the group to go out there and have the opportunity to use this bat. It was pretty cool. Ah, uh, the MC light up. That's gone well and truly. Yeah, I remember Brett Lee hitting the ball out of the gabba. Ended up on the cricket nets. That was as big as a hit I can remember and Darren Powell just bowled a nice length to, to Binger and he certainly got all of it. Oh, that's crunched. And when he hits them, they go a long way. That made a magnificent crack of leather on Willow, and it's gone into the top tier by the look of the crowd. I'd describe the beast as extremely powerful and very scary for the opposition.